Are you trying to decide between fluorescent black lights or LED black lights? I'll show you which one produces the best black light effect. Shoots! Let's go! Oh. Okay, first up, we have this fluorescent black light fixture made by Wildfire Lighting. It's equipped with two 4 foot T8 fluorescent tube lamps. The wavelength on these fluorescent lamps peak at 365 nanometers. Next up for the LED blacklight, we have this linear T9 LED blacklight tube made by Wildfire Lighting. It's a 2 foot LED tube lamp and the wavelength peaks at 365 nanometers. Last time I checked with Wildfire, they still had these in stock, but it's not listed on their website. And last but not least, we have this LED blue bar blacklight fixture, also made by Wildfire Lighting. It's a 30 watt LED blacklight and the wavelength on this peaks at about 400 nanometers. It's about 2 feet in length. They also have a 4 foot version that is 60 watts. Now the reason I want to showcase two LED blacklights is to squash the fact that not all LED blacklight products have the purple visible light. If you want to go more in depth on what causes the purple visible light, I'll leave a link of that video in the description below. Okay, so here we have a 15 foot sign painted on a whiteboard that will react to a blacklight. I also have a couple of chairs just below the sign that won't react to a blacklight. We'll be testing these blacklights 15 feet away. Now the chairs will be indicators to see how much visible light actually comes out of the black lights. First up, we have the two 32 watt fluorescent tube lamps. Most fluorescent lamps will be in the 365 nanometers in wavelength. You can basically only see the UV reactive materials I have on my wall, which means you have a lot of UV coming out and not much visible light. You know there is not much visible light coming out since you can't see the chairs that I have below my UV reactive materials. Now let's take a look at our first 15 watt LED blacklight. This one is also rated at 365 nanometers in wavelength. I noticed that this LED blacklight has a lot of output. If you have more output, you'll also have more visible light. So keep that in mind. But again, this one peaks at 365 nanometers, so you'll have more UV and not much visible light, as you still can't see the chairs or the wall. Okay, so this is the other 30 watt LED blacklight. This one is rated at 400 nanometers in wavelength, which basically means we're now in the visible light spectrum. The one way you can easily tell is, look at all the purple visible light. You can easily see the chairs and my walls. You still have some UV coming out because my UV reactive materials still react. These are the side by side comparisons. In my opinion, if you want a true UV blacklight effect, you should go with the 365 nanometers in wavelength blacklights. To get a room as dark as possible and only UV reactive materials fluorescing, that's what a blacklight was made for. It could be fluorescent or LED. You can't go wrong with either or, but I would lean more towards LED because they'll last a lot longer than fluorescent and they don't get as hot. Now nothing is wrong with the 400 nanometer blacklight. It still has some UV coming out, so it'll get the job done. It all depends if you want that purple wash or not. Some do, some don't, but now you know the difference. The choice is yours. If you want to go in depth on the difference between 365 nanometers and 400 nanometers, check out this video over here. If you got value out of this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification for future blacklight content. Thank you for watching. Mahalo!